Hey Pilgrims, it's Nadine from Nadine Walks and I'm here today to talk about packing list for the Camino de Santiago. So I just came back, well a couple of weeks ago I came back from a springtime Camino on the Camino Portuguese. I was only able to walk for about a week but it was in early to mid-April and it's the first time I've walked the Camino in the spring. So I've done some other long distance hiking in the spring, but normally when I'm on the Camino, it's in the summer. And so I have a packing list that is devoted to my summer hikes. And I've gotten that one pretty honed down over the years. If I'm going on a summer hike, I kind of know what I'm bringing. So I'm going to link to that list, I think right above I think it's on this side. <laughs> there should be a link up there to my lightweight summer Camino packing list. I'm also going to put a link in the notes below this video. But today I kind of want to talk about how what I packed for my springtime Camino differed a little bit than my summer packing list. I do think though taking a look at that packing list that I use for my summer Caminos is kind of important and relevant when I talk about what I brought on my springtime Camino because for the most part, all of my items were the same. I kind of have my kind of basic stuff that I bring on every Camino and I really only made a couple of changes on my springtime Camino, but I think they're kind of important ones. So I'm gonna highlight a couple extra items that I brought along and then a couple items that I considered bringing along but ultimately didn't and kind of how I felt about those choices. So when it comes to walking in the spring, I think my biggest consideration was the weather. I knew it was going to be cooler than the temperatures that I usually hike in when I'm hiking in the summer. And in addition to the temperatures, I was also pretty concerned about rain. And so that being said, I think the number one thing that I brought for the springtime Camino were my rain pants. So the rain pants are something that I've had for several years and I have brought them on other hikes. But when I go on the Camino in the summer, I don't always bring them along. Um, they have been helpful sometimes when I've had them um, on a really rainy day. Even in the summertime, it's just kind of more comfortable because my legs don't get too wet. But I think in the summer, I'm not as concerned about bringing rain pants just because it's usually a lot warmer. And so if my legs do get wet, if my hiking pants or shorts get wet, I know that my legs aren't going to get too cold because it's not too cold outside and my base layers, pants, shorts, whatever I'm bringing, they're usually quick dry. So even if stuff gets wet, I know it's going to dry out pretty quickly, especially with the warmer temperatures. But when walking in the spring, one of my concerns was that if I didn't have the rain pants and I was going to walk in the rain, my legs would get wet or my pants, you know, would get soaked through with rain and then it would make walking all day in wet pants pretty cold and I don't like to be cold you know it's not comfortable and depending on which community you're on how cold it is it can get kind of dangerous actually so that was one reason I really wanted to bring the rain pants I think the other big reason is that when I looked ahead at the forecast a couple days before I left for Portugal, uh, the forecast was calling for rain every day. A couple days was like 100% chance of rain. Other days, maybe, you know, 50, 60% chance. But that was enough to make me say, I am definitely bringing the rain pants. And I'm very glad that I did. And so I think having that extra you know, just extra item when it comes to rain gear for a springtime Camino, I think is pretty important. The other item that I brought um, that I was glad I had with me was my little puffy jacket. This is one from Patagonia. I've had this for a number of years, but it's a very lightweight puffy jacket and it packs down really small. It's super lightweight, um, but this is an extra layer that I brought with me this year for the springtime Camino. Now, when I go on the Camino, I usually bring a t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt, a fleece and a rain jacket. Um, and I feel like those different layers and various combinations are really good to keep me warm because sometimes when I'm walking into the summer, it can be cool in the mornings, cool in the evenings. And so I found that um, those layers are pretty good. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring an extra jacket along. In addition to my fleece, I also brought the fleece. Um, I think I could have gotten away with not bringing this jacket. And that's mostly because the days when I was in Portugal weren't that chilly. I think the temperatures were mostly in the 50s and 60s. And so I didn't find that I was too cold. Um, but I did really like having this jacket. One, 
in case it was a little colder, I think having this extra layer would have been really important and certainly would have kept me warm. Um, I also found that I think the mornings were cooler and it stayed cooler longer and in the evenings especially it got cooler than it does in the summer and I really like having this jacket kind of as an option to throw on. Um, there are a couple evenings that I sat outside for a few hours in the evening with other pilgrims and I just kind of layered on the fleece and this jacket and I was just glad that I had it. Um, even though I don't think I use it as much as I thought I would, it's an item that I think I would always bring on a springtime Camino because you just don't know what the temperatures are going to be like. And even though I wasn't walking at much elevation, not on the Camino Portuguese, um, I did the coastal route. I know that other Camino routes, you can be going up and down a bit. If you're in like a mountainous area at all, it can be a lot colder than you're expecting. And so something like a lightweight puffy jacket will keep you pretty warm. So that's the second item I brought. The third clothing item I brought with me was a pair of basically like long underwear an extra base layer to put on my legs. So I have brought this on a couple other long distance walks and have used it a little bit. On this particular Camino, I really didn't use it again. I think one reason is that it was a little bit warmer than I think it could have been for early mid-April. Uh, the one time I did use it was at night. One of the albergues I stayed in didn't have any heat and that particular albergue didn't offer a blanket. Most of the other albergues did and so I layered this under the other pair of pants I bring to sleep. Um, but I actually woke up in the middle of the night really hot <laughs> and so I took these off. Um, but one reason I think these can be good though is if the weather and the temperatures were a lot cooler these under, under hiking pants uh, can really help. It's what I do in the winter when I go hiking and walking and I know that um, that's a combination that really works well for me. So I think for a springtime hike really thinking about your clothing and a couple of key extra layers can really help keep you comfortable and warm. Um, the other thing that I brought that I did not use was a second buff and so I don't have my other buff with me at the moment I always bring at least one buff along with me this year I thought okay I'm just gonna bring a second one they are small they are super lightweight easy to pack and again just thinking about the temperature and also knowing rain was in the forecast um, I have used buffs before around my neck on my head to help keep me warm um, I've used it as a headband, especially when it's raining, just to kind of, you know, sometimes rain can kind of get in on your face, you know, my hair will stick to my forehead, um, and I've used it kind of as a headband to kind of like, you know, block the rain a bit. And I wanted a second one just in case one got wet, or if I got really cold and wanted one for my neck and my head, I would have it. I didn't end up using it at all, but again, not a super big deal to have brought it because it was so small and lightweight. Um, and then... The other thing that I didn't actually bring along with me, but I did consider was my sleeping bag liner. So as I mentioned, I have a travel sleep sack, you know, a lightweight sleeping bag that I bring along and I bring that on every Camino and it's great for the summer. I get a little chilly at night. So um, I know some pilgrims in the summer, especially will only bring a liner to sleep with. Um, but for me, I like having a little bit more. I did consider bringing this liner uh, again, mostly for sleeping in the albergues in case I got cold. Doubling this up with my other sleeping bag really adds um, an extra layer of warmth. And I didn't bring it with me. And again, I was totally fine without it. Again, most of the albergues I stayed in had blankets. Not all do, and I think with COVID, some albergues that had offered blankets aren't anymore, but in my experience for just the seven days that I walked on um, the coastal route of the Camino Portuguese, a lot of the albergues and a couple hostels I stayed in did have blankets. So I didn't need the sleeping bag liner. Um, so for the most part, those are really only my key changes. Otherwise, I really used my basic packing list that I, you know, all the stuff that I take for every Camino, I just kind of used that list and added a couple extra clothing items. So I used the same basic packing list and I thought that it worked really well. So I just wanted to kind of do this video for certainly, I think, you know, any pilgrims who are planning a Camino, have a Camino coming up soon. 
um, and are wondering like, oh, especially with clothing, you know, what could be good layering to take if it's going to be a little, just a little bit cooler. So I found that having the rain pants, um, even though I didn't use it, but an extra base layer to kind of layer up um, and having kind of a lightweight puffy jacket uh, were some really key items to have to help make my springtime Camino a little more comfortable. So I hope this video was helpful. I'm really excited to have more Camino content coming up to share with you. So stay tuned and make sure if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, um, like this video that helps bring more attention to this channel. So other pilgrims, future pilgrims can find the videos and benefit as well. All right, everyone, I will be back soon. Buen Camino.